Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new concept video. Now, Ethan's just decided to sit there and play on the Switch, so just ignore that he's there. And we're going to be looking at sadness today. So this was submitted in today. So last week's submitter was... Um, I think it was no username. And this week's one, we get, which is a new submission here. This is a new submission. We haven't had one of these from this guy before. So it's from I Like Cheese. And his concept is sadness. Obviously, sadness is from... Ethan, I'm quizzing you. What's sadness from? Cool, he doesn't know. Neither do I, because I forgot the name of the film. So I was hoping Ethan would remember. So we've got sadness. And I reckon um, she's going to be a good character. And we've got some really good ideas and concepts down this list here. So, um, she's going to be a damage role. And I've got sadness here. So I'm just going to put her in. Let's... Um, get a trace first so I can make it. So remember, Purple, if you're watching this, just give me a thousand pound you can use these characters. Right, here we go. <laughs> and then, okay, so I've, I thought this one looks like quite good. So yes, guys, I didn't draw this once again. And whoever did, if you want me to give you credit, just drop a link down below and I will. So I need to just get rid of all of these first. Um... Right, yeah. So, I'm just going to get rid of all of these because I us delete her eye out a little bit, but that's fine. Right, that's gone. So, we've got a, a pretty decent looking um, sadness here. So, she's going to be the main kind of character that we're going to be using on this. So, I, I think she looks quite good. And um, I reckon this would kind of be the style that we'd see if we were actually on Disney Heroes as well. So, and the moves that um, I Like Cheese has predicted are so good here. So let's get her like that. So yeah, she's obviously gonna be quite small. So let's get make the shadow a little bit smaller as well. Like that. And let's make her a little bit bigger just so it looks a bit cooler. Then yeah, there we've got Sadness there. So let's change her name up to Sadness as well. So guys, I want you to comment down below and give me some ideas. Uh, for the next character and you could get featured. So we've got sadness here. So he said um, the, the quote when she walks in is oh we fell down She's gonna be on blue team, which is good because she's obviously blue. Her white move is gonna be tears So I like this one. I reckon we could get a nice little image for this. So Sadness crying because I actually like the idea of this um, this tears move so I I think what would look nice on this would just be like a little crying emoji or even a teardrop. So, so yeah, I reckon something like this would do quite nicely, guys, um, just to be put into this into this mode. So if, if we were to put a few teardrops kind of like stacked along each other, I reckon we'd um, we'd have quite a good result here. So let, let's take a look and see what we're going to get from this one. So this has um, been one of my favourite predictions for quite a while, actually, um, this one for Sadness. So let's make it the same blue, and then I'm going to highlight it dark blue so it kind of matches Sadness like that. Then we've got the shape there, and then I want to just put a few of these into... Um, kind of just montage them into here so it looks like those little tears are coming out. And I think that's just going to be the best way we can um, have it here. So, you know, like loads of little teardrops like that. It, I reckon that would be... Um, obviously, it would look a bit better if it was official, guys. But I reckon this is going to work quite nicely. So, let's bring this to the top. If it would let me. There we go. Like that. Yeah, so I reckon we'd have some teardrops like that. And it's called the first move... Tears, but I'm going to change it to Tears of Sadness. So what this is going to do is um, Sadness will cry in the battlefield and loads of tears will just come falling down and it will damage everybody. And everybody who's hit by it as well will get like stacks of sadness. This is what I reckon even. It's going to be a new thing. Stacks of sadness will come in and everybody will get sad and they'll just feel a bit down. So they'll attack slower, they'll do less damage and they just won't want to use their specials. So that would be my prediction for that bit there. And then the second move, green, feeling down. 
When Sadness is frowning and, her, and she has her head down, enemies will slow down because they feel bad. Now, I literally just said that one. But I'm going to change this one slightly. So I'm going to call it feeling down. And what it does, this one will stun enemies. This will stun one enemy. So if I get um, Sadness... So I wonder what would look good for this one, guys, um, to put in. Because it needs to basically just make it look like she's sad. So it's gonna be like a feeling down one. I reckon <laughs> I reckon this will work, guys. Look at this. Someone's made a Club Penguin version of sadness. That would be the greatest little icon that you could use. So let's let's just trace this one again. I, I wanna keep it a bit simpler, so. This will probably kill him a little bit, but it'll work nicely. And then we can have him looking quite sad. And yeah, like that. That looks even better, actually. We expand that out, and we've got a nice little sad Club Penguin character, guys. Which is probably the saddest thing you can think of. Like, you'd never want to, you'd never want to upset a Club Penguin character. So let's get rid of all of those. And then we've got him here. So what we'll do is, we'll move him over into here. And we've got the first, like, this is a crossover, guys, which could potentially bring Club Penguin back if we were ever so lucky, which I don't think we ever will be, guys. So I can bring that to the front. Oh, no, I've just done a shoe there. Right, let's do it. Let's just do it a slightly different way. Because I, I like the idea of this being a move, guys. Um, this would make a really good character idea which i'm surprised we haven't seen um people predict sadness first but i've got a long list of predictions that people have made and um they will be uh, featured in my videos guys as we go along so there we go a nice little club penguin character looking a bit sad so when they get hit with feeling down guys we're going to see them get stunned because that's going to make like the ultimate sadness. Where we've got tears of sadness, which is just going to hit everybody and make them sad. Feeling down is going to hit them with the ultimate stack and they just need to take a moment to recover. So what that's going to do is obviously um, make them a little bit upset, guys. It's just going to take them a little bit longer to just get over it. And they're going to be stunned for a few seconds which is going to give you, open you up with enough time to do some damage. So that would be Sans' second move. And then Blue, learning to be happy. So I like the idea of this one. Sadness will be happy for seven seconds, doubling damage. But if she's got her red skill, it will be triple damage. So what, would, what might be quite cool to put in there, guys, would be um, we could put, like, Joy in there for a few seconds. So um, what we could do is grab joy and then we can put joy in and just for a few seconds it would obviously make uh it would make her like happy like joy would come down and assist her or we could have something quite cool like that happen guys so let's grab um joy but we actually want to use her character if, yeah there so we can we can actually put her in here so okay so what i'm thinking is joy will come in for a little bit and just boost up sadness or try and make sadness a bit happier guys and i reckon that would be really cool so let's take a look so if we do something like this we, we could have joy and we could put her into here like that and then joy uh what's he called the move learning to be Learning to be joyful is what I'm going to call it. And Joy comes in, gives her a boost. She gets double damage, double attack, and everything like that all just stacks up on one, guys, making her the ultimate damage machine. And then for purple, we've got reviving cloud. So this would be a, a rain cloud, like a sadness rain cloud like Eeyore has. So sadness could um, have some really good moves with Eeyore, guys. That's what I'd like to see. Um is Eeyore and Sadness having a friendship mission. Like, I'm pretty sure if she was to come out in this game, she would have a friendship mission with Eeyore. Because you guys have to admit, comment down below and let me know who you'd think would be good to be in a mission with Eeyore. How's it going over there, Ethan? Cool. Right, so now let's put this into here. And then we're going to call this one Reviving Cloud. I like the idea of um, Reviving Cloud, guys. 
like that. Lovely. Then we'll copy all this in. Yeah, th I reckon uh, she would actually generally have something a bit like this, guys, and it would look so cool. So that can go in there. Reviving Cloud. So, um, when Sadness or another team member dies, a cloud will spawn above them for 10 seconds. So it basically brings them back and makes them invincible for 10 seconds and then they'll end up disappearing into the emotional universe, guys. Now, this is the red skill he's chosen and I like this one. So, um, let's take a look here. So, oh, this is almost perfect, guys. So, oh, someone said wave. Now, a wave of tears. So I, I like the idea of this one. So I'm going to bring in a nice uh, wave here already. And then I can just loop that into the circle. So we're going to have a nice uh, wave of tears here, guys. So this is actually a really good idea, this one. And um, yeah, I reckon this is going to work really nicely. So we could do, do that like that. Then we've got a wave of tears coming in. And this here... This here is just going to be the ultimate move, guys. So, um, so he's called it Ocean of Tears. Now, I really like that idea. So now, what's Ocean of Tears going to do, guys? Let's let's take a look and see what he thinks it's going to do. I've got an idea for Ocean of Tears. Okay, go. What do you think? So, this character is obviously based around sadness. Yeah. I'm seeing now. I haven't been paying attention to the video because. It's dead boring, but <laughs> I'll take it. So, I think the Ocean of Tears should be the skill is per blue increases the price of all skills, ma making coins useless. Yeah, well, like they did before. Yeah. That's... That, that brought ultimate sadness to the fans and they didn't care about oh, it. Oh, that's good. So okay. That should be the red skill. Per blue increases skill coins to all your enemies. So, ultimate sadness, as Ethan said, will basically make Purblue ruin the game like they did a while ago. Yeah. And it like once again, like Ethan said, it will bring sadness to every single player. But okay, and let's, the forums. And the forums. Let's get to the legit one. So when sadness cries, there will be a 99.99 .99 chance that she will cry she will so increased. hard that the battlefield will be an ocean of tears. Your heroes can breathe in tears, but their enemies can't. You can unlock amazing things with the red skill, like the blue skill, can now do triple the damage. Purple skill. So this is basically making her a machine. And you can even link it with, like, if you had Nemo or, like, an underwater character on your team, they go, <laughs> and become more powerful. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. This is the sadness prediction. I want you to comment down below, leave a like, leave a subscribe, all of the business, guys. You know what you need to do. And just to make sure Ethan isn't sad anymore, that's why he's been in this video, because he's been sad because he has to play Animal Crossing in such a bad game. We'll see you all in the next video, guys. Any last words, Ethan? Subscribe. <laughs>